He is my favourite horse. When I first met Pepper, uh, he didn't like me and I didn't like him. I almost didn't buy him. Uh, he was a pretty surly individual. Nobody could talk to him, nobody could catch him. He wouldn't have anything to do with anybody. And the bottom line is, he was just an unsettled, unhappy horse. I got talking to him a little bit. I put a saddle on him and he took two steps backwards and he rolled on me. So we got off to a good start. But I gotta tell you, things got better after that. Not actually black and white, it was actually shot in colour and it was a scene within a scene where they were shooting a 1920s movie. It was actually shot just not so long ago but it was supposed to be set in the 1920s. So you've got part colour, part black and white where he's playing the part of the hero's horse. When I first met Pepper he was full of himself. He was pretty belligerent. He was not liked by people. People did not like him. He was a runty little thing and he was pretty much of a loner. So I talked to him a bit and I put a saddle on him. We spent a lot of time together. Uh, I've never loved a horse as much as I've loved Pepper and frankly I think Pepper actually loved me too. He would follow me around. He was just simply my shadow. He thought that the sun shined out of my left ear I'm sure. Uh, he was a stallion and he only ever had two babies. He had one chestnut baby and then he had a Palomino Appaloosa baby. Now this is pretty rare if you know anything about horses. A Palomino Appaloosa is basically a mutually exclusive horse. They don't usually get born. What happens is that the gene from the Appaloosa and the gene from the Palomino, they meet in the womb and they don't like each other and so you have like almost a spontaneous abortion. But somehow or other this mare got through this and she had this wonderful baby who grew up to look exactly like Papa, who had the most gorgeous blanket on his butt. So even though he only had two babies, he had two very gorgeous babies. Um, it's been a long time now since Pepper's passed. I miss him a lot. We all really, really love the horses we get especially attached to. And it's a shame that they have to pass way, way before we do. We got up to a lot of hijinks together. I did my share of protesting. Uh, here I am on Capitol Mall in Sacramento in California, riding my horse up and down the main drag there. Capitol Mall, mind you. Uh, by the way, that's an Australian flag and an American flag. Uh, I was really, really upset about some things. And guess what? Making a big noise sometimes fixes things. We got to be such, such close friends that I don't think I've ever had such a close friend as this horse. Uh, that doesn't take away from Sam here. I mean, I like Sam too. But in reality, we did some really wonderful things together. We were in a couple of movies. Uh, we were having a lot of fun. So you can change things if you've got a little, you know, moxie to do that. And yeah, Pepper and I did change some things. So go out there and protest. Take your horse out there and protest. People take notice, I can tell you, when you've got a horse. They really do take notice. But he'll always be my favorite horse. I'll always miss him. I'll always miss Pepper. <laughs>